Hello guys, this is Spicy, and this is a review on the Bandai High Grade Universal Sentry 144 scale Doven Wolf. So, uh, this kit looks familiar. It's actually uh, a retool and recolor. Well, technically, just a retool of the uh, uh, Silver Bullet, but this guy came before the Silver Bullet. So, yeah, uh, the Silver Bullet was developed from the Doven Wolf. So. Yeah, since it's a Xeon kit, I had to get it for myself. Uh, I built the Silver Bullet already, and that was pretty good. So yeah, and uh, the Dolvin Wolf is actually based on the Gundam Mark V. And here we have the very large foil sticker sheet. We have three mono eyes, which, you know, you only need to use one. So save that for later. Here we have the instruction manual, the AMX-014. Uh, Neo Xeon's quasi cycle mobile suit. And uh, yeah, it's made from Gundarium Alloy Composite. It's got the Vulcan Gun, Beam Saber, Mega Particle Cannon, Anti-Ship Missiles, Missile Launcher, Incom Beam Hands, Hidden Arms, only, only Commander Unit. So only the Commander Unit has a Hidden Arms. So yeah, this is very, very cool. You have the back of the manual. The gimmicks are exactly the same, and so is the articulation, so I'm not going to talk about that too much. And uh, here we have the uh, more pictures of Dover Wolf. All right, so here we go. Let's uh, go ahead and talk about some of the gimmick. It's got the same uh, gimmick as the uh, Silver Bullet, where you get the wire that connect to this piece, and you can attach the hand to uh, uh, the stand to do the uh, you know uh, arm extension kind of thing. Uh, this is uh, this mode is used when the pilot is not a new type. Now, when the pilot is a new type. Uh, you don't need this wire. So let's go ahead and remove this. So for the new type pilots, uh, we'll give them the uh, sub arm. The, yeah, the hidden arm <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah, it looks a little bit goofy, but whatever. You know, it's got like two arms and this thing is like flying around shooting at uh, enemy mobile suits stuff like that <laughs> all right so for accessories uh, we have two beam savers and two beam saver effect and uh, the beam saver can be uh, the beam effect can be removed and the beam saver is very easy you can uh, actually detach the handle like so and just slip it into these uh, universal gripping hands like so so that's actually very useful and uh, yeah we have two of them and two multi-purpose universal gripping hands. All right, let's go ahead and remove those hands because I'm gonna have a special use for those. And then uh, we have the same missiles, which you can clip on the tips of these, uh, the neck pieces. I'll demonstrate that at the very end. So yeah, two uh, hidden arms, one for each arm. And uh, we have two of these stands because uh, both hands can do this gimmick. And then we have two open hands. All right, so set that stuff aside. And let's go ahead and just convert this thing back to the uh, standard mode. So basically, uh, you just pop this piece out and then uh, uh, stick this piece back in there, like so. And then uh, remove the saw bar. There we go. Then move the arm down like that. Standing up straight. And uh, yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, just like the Super Bullet, we got two of these uh, bent, uh, wires for the, uh, you know, uh, if you're gonna use like the income hand mode or something. And uh, yeah, let's put all this stuff away. And then uh, we have this beam rifle right here. A very large beam cannon rifle kind of thing with a trigger finger. So let's go ahead and pop this off. Now this thing has a special gimmick. I will show you very soon. So you see these holes right here? This actually plugs into the Mega Particle Cannon on the body. And then uh, it al allow you to do like a, a burst mode. So basically uh, you pull this uh, section forward and then uh, you uh, move this forward and then you stick into the chest but uh, I wanted to demonstrate this bipod right here this is actually pretty cool it actually have a 
body pots, so maybe you can put it down as a sniper mode. Very nice. And uh, you do have to paint the red part on the site. This thing comes uh, all uh, gray, so I actually painted that in. And as you can see, I put a lot of decals on this kit, water slide decals. So yeah, so let's just take a moment to look at the glory. That is the Dovin Wolf. What uh, all the uh, work I put into it. <laughs> so yeah, water slide decals all over. Very nice. I also painted in a lot of the thruster ports. So that's actually looking pretty sweet. Alright, so the difference from the Dolben was obviously the uh, head from the silver bullet. It's also got a different chest with the uh, Mega Particle Cannon and this is the Young logo. Uh, you're not going to get much articulation out of this head because it's just got so much going on. Yeah, it's also uh, kind of difficult to assemble. It's actually a lot of pieces. Also painted in the missile pots right there. I painted the under part uh, gray and uh, repainted the missile red. So that looks really neat. Uh, the missile pots can be closed like so. And yeah, in order to uh, bring this thing back up, actually, uh, it's actually easy in this mode because, uh, yeah. To put this thing back into the regular mode, it's a little bit difficult because of the uh, headpiece. This thing do get in the way, but I guess reverse is not really a big deal. All right, so uh, these missiles just uh, clip onto this part like so. Uh, yeah, I guess it's easier if I do it like that. Yeah. I, I really don't see the point of having these, so I'm just going to leave them off. I think it's kind of stupid, in my honest opinion. Alright, so now it's time to uh, put it in the uh, the burst mode. So, let's go ahead and pop the hand off. And let's remove the uh, trigger finger. Because we don't need this hand for the uh, burst mode. There we go. Trigger finger comes off. That back together like that. I flip in the handle, flip down the uh, bipod, and then uh, we're gonna need the uh, gripping hands, multi purpose gripping hand, like that. Now you move the arms up, like so, push it forward to the center. Uh, well, actually, uh, in the regular mode, you can pull this piece out like that to prevent the uh, connection piece for the uh, uh, Mega Particle Cannon. And when you're putting in burst mode, you just push this thing all the way back to expose these two uh, ports. And then... Actually, I might have to open up these hands. Yeah, I do have to open them up. There we go. And then I have to do the same with this hand. Whoops. That was a little bit of a pain in the butt. The uh, bottom, bottom hand didn't connect properly. Alright, anyway, this, uh, this just slots into the chest port. And uh, let's move this hand out here. I did not expect this to be that difficult. So, <laughs> I do apologize for that. Come on, come on.
It's actually a little bit difficult to do on camera. But anyway, here we go, finally. All right, technical difficulty. So here we have the uh, super awesome burst mode. Take a look at that, how awesome is that? You should just definitely want to buy this kit for uh, this mode. <laughs> this is super cool. Just, uh, let me uh, shift the camera like that. That is awesome. It's amazing. All right, so uh, yeah, uh, you can probably get this kit in uh, North America for around twenty-five US dollars, and uh, I definitely recommend it. Uh, it's a very nice kit. Uh, do I like it more than the Silver Bullet? Yes, I do because of uh, this mode. Makes it uh, even better than the uh, Silver Bullet, in my opinion. Yeah, I wish the Silver Bullet had this mode, but it doesn't. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for this review. I hope you guys find the information helpful. And as always, thanks for watching.